Hit the runway with glamour, style, allure. TV32 presents IADT's 25th anniversary fashion show, Imagine. See hundreds of real cutting-edge designs and go behind the scenes to meet the real designers who created them. And now the host of Imagine, Miss Tampa USA 2011, Jesse Pelletier. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jesse Pelletier, Miss Tampa USA, and your MC for this evening. I would like to welcome everyone to our 25th Silver Anniversary Academy Student Fashion Show. We're delighted to have you here this evening as we celebrate this huge milestone with students, faculty, and staff of the International Academy of Design and Technology in Tampa, Florida. What you will see tonight is a collaborative effort of many, many students, faculty, and professionals contributing to their skill and labor of love. This first group of designs from IADT's alumni will have you craving everything from a day at the beach to a casual day with friends. Let's begin with transformation. Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Cheek. I am a fashion design instructor at the Academy and I was also the fashion show coordinator for this year's Imagine 2010. These first two scenes are uh, alumni designs. Since this was our 25th anniversary show, uh, we made a special attempt to contact all of the Tampa fashion design alumni and ask them if they would submit their collections for the show. We have about uh, 10 designers in the amount of 50 or 55 garments represented here. Uh, the collections include anything from swimwear to daywear, costumes. Uh, this particular collection is a group of uh, baby doll dresses. We've got resort wear leading into evening wear. This is one of our recent graduates. These are vintage inspired swimsuits. This next collection is a group of corsets in different silhouettes and shapes. Uh, some are uh, tank style, over the bust, under the bust, and they're coordinated with uh, pieces in charmeuse in the color silver to go along with the 25th or silver anniversary of the school's show. This particular collection was influenced by Parisian uh, lingerie, which is a big trend for spring 2011. This next designer is now in Miami. Her collection includes swimwear as well as some cute cocktail dresses. got a great 20s feel with the straight silhouettes and the fringy hems. This next designer actually has her own swimwear business now. Uh, she's got a very successful online swimwear business. She's got about eight pieces here that she's showing uh, from different parts of the collection.
She's got a great collection because it combines uh, different levels of body coverage. Um, the swimsuit on the, the right now obviously is uh, you know your two-piece string bikini, um, but also some of them are provide much more coverage through the torso, uh, maybe across the back for someone who might want to be a little bit covered and still be in a beautiful bathing suit. This collection is a fun combination of some elements from the 80s, some color blocking going on here, some off the shoulder torn garments. Makes us have a flashback uh, to flash dance. It's time for a little more transformation. Let's watch as the alumni designers evolve from casual to formal designs and beyond. You'll see what I mean as we continue with this theme of transformation. Jesse is back uh, to join me in viewing the show. This next scene is another uh, group of collections from alumni designers. This particular designer has also made her home in Miami. She's got a beautiful collection of resort wear, including menswear. Yes, these pieces are really beautiful. You can tell that they're inspired by somebody who is living in Miami. I really get that vibe of a contemporary high fashion look. I notice here that a lot of the garments are coordinated with different types of accessories. Is this something that the designer comes up with on their own? Uh, yes, actually. All of the designers style their own garments, which would be combining uh, accessories, belt, hat, jewelry with the garments as they go out on the runway. Uh, s some of these pieces may actually be a part of the garment, like it looks like a sash at the waist might actually be stitched into a garment. Uh, but like the one shown here, that's an, you know, a belt that's been chosen and a hat to be worn with that particular garment on the runway for a certain look. Now this swimsuit is very striking. I noticed that the designer has used four very different types of material, but it blends very well together. It's very innovative. Yeah, it's very flattering on her. It also uses asymmetry which is having uh, different details on one side of the body than the other. Now this isn't something that you would normally see on the beach. Where could gentlemen wear something like this? Uh, probably in one of the clubs in South Beach. It's a quite, quite a creative concept that she used for the reversible vest with the chain detail. This particular designer has a lot of experience uh, with knits, uh, has done a lot of designing for ballroom and dancewear, and her designs are extravagant, exquisite, they're, they're absolutely beautiful. Yes, like you said before, this designer does do exquisite work. This is something I could see being worn at a very fancy event, a cocktail party, something of that sort. It's gorgeous. Uh, red carpet worthy. Definitely. Oh, now this is the design from the poster. What's this theme all about? Well, we have several themes for the show this year. Uh, this particular 
jumpsuit was worn by this model in a photo shoot to create all of the graphics that we produced and the marketing materials for the show. Um, the silver is for the silver anniversary of, this, of the fashion show. Um, it's a, a futuristic theme as well. Not your typical idea of the future, like Star Trek or the Jetsons, but a more modern view of the future. The theme has to do with shapes and materials melting and morphing into contemporary futuristic forms like the model who goes from 3D transforms into 2D on the video screen. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more brilliant designs and fashions from the students of IADT's 25th annual Imagine Fashion Show. What is fashion design? It's the world of your imagination come to life. Now you can learn fashion at the International Academy of Design and Technology. Learn the skills and become the one who can imagine it, design it, and create it. Make your imagination come to life by learning fashion. Start today by calling for this career guide. Call 888-316-9111. That's 888-316-9111. A picture is worth a thousand words. At the International Academy of Design and Technology, you can take your passion for photography to the next level. Learn the technical skills in imaging, studio practices, and more. Creativity and a good eye are just the beginning. Learn the essentials of camera mechanics and photography and become part of this exciting field. Call now and find out how you can get started. For a career guide, call 888-860-2111. That's 888-860-2111. Call now. If you could turn this empty space into a modern kitchen, what kind of theme would you choose? Colors, cabinets, sustainable materials? Train in interior design and you could use your creativity to design beautiful spaces from scratch. Take your passion to the next level and call now for a career guide. For a career guide, call 888-773-2111. That's 888-773-2111. Call now. And now we go from alumni to the student designers of IADT who have been inspired by the steampunk style. Let's take a look. So during this theme, we use the term steampunk. What exactly does that mean? Well, steampunk is a trend in fashion. Uh, it's a combination of old and new. It's a contemporary look uh, at the uh, styles and the designs of around the time of the Industrial Revolution. Uh, it's costumey, uh, but done in a contemporary way. Uses a lot of um, structured details, heavy fabrics. And here we have some more designs that fit into the steampunk realm, also designed by Misty Campoli. Misty still has another term to finish at the Academy, but she will be seeking an internship in Tampa in costuming. behind the scenes to meet with some of the designers. We'll talk to them about their inspiration and some of their aspirations. The first designer we'll speak to, Misty Campoli. I came to the Academy to learn a skill that was dying out and a skill that I enjoy to create new things, new ideas, and new concepts. 
I am from originally Battle Creek, Michigan, but I moved down here when I was really little. I chose the Academy because it's location, it's close to home. It also has a reputation, which I've heard from my friends all the way in from Paris that they know of. For this piece, as you see here, it has many layers and many textures and many techniques in it. All this combines into a counterculture that's coming up in style known as steampunk. Usually in steampunk, you're wearing many layers, several different skirts, but in the street version, which I've done here, it is much easier just to wear one skirt instead of having to pick out several different pieces. All these are interchangeable, so you can wear them with any other street clothes. This one is a urban, but tribal, green, green for the planet. And tribal because it was one of the trends that are coming up. So I found this beautiful gold green swimsuit fabric and the last of this tribal print that has bronze in it. Tribal clothes usually have a lot of piecework. They used up everything. In the back of both my swimsuits are braids. This one has a long braid out of two of the print and one of the green. I would like to thank my parents and all the teachers here. I'd like to thank everyone who's pushed me to actually go to the school and fulfill my dreams. My plans are, is what I'm continuing doing now, is to design clothes, swimwear, and more of everything I'm doing for school and selling to New Age boutiques in Temple Terrace and in Safety Harbor. And right here we see the garment that Misty mentioned in her interview. These designs really epitomize what steampunk is all about. Definitely, it's a great combination of fabrics and accessories, really brings it all together. Misty designed all of the steampunk women's wear pieces, and the second steampunk designer was Ben King, who created all of the men's wear. Misty and Ben actually work separately on these collections, um, but they work perfectly together for this scene. And now let's go behind the scenes with designer Benjamin King. I'm um, Benjamin King. I'm from uh, Lakeland, Florida. I came to the academy because I did a lot of research about, you know, fashion schools, and I found that it was uh, the right choice for me. I'm really uh, inspired by um, old school European fashion, and I tried to try, um, you know, to do European menswear, but from the late 1800s, early 1900s, and make it more. Um, modern day. You don't usually see a lot of prints in menswear. Most menswear is kind of boring sometimes, so, you know, I like to, to mix it up and add um, different prints and different textures with the fabric. To mix the, um, the herringbone in the plaid, I thought it was really, really different combination. You don't see it a lot. I think I have um, six other looks, pants, jacket, and shirts. The other jackets are a little bit more out there, more prints. This is actually really the most it's a dude look I, I'm putting in the show. Sometimes it can make you a little dizzy, but for like a fashion show, I think it works. In January, I'm moving to New York and, you know, hopefully start my internship at a, at a men's work company. I'm still sending out work samples and resumes, and I am hoping to get maybe with a Simon Spur or even a bigger company like, like I'm Calvin Klein. I want to thank all the teachers here and my mother, my sister, and my grandmother. And since that interview, Ben has returned from New York and has received three offers for internships with three of the top New York menswear designers. From steampunk, we transform into costumes, lingerie, and swimwear-inspired fashion. That's what this metamorphosis scene is all about. Now these pieces right here are very interesting. What exactly are we looking at? Well, this scene is a, a unique combination of pieces that might be lingerie, that might be costumes, some that could be swimwear.
Now I notice as the models are coming out in pairs that the designs are similar, but they're constructed differently. Well, that's what makes a collection. It's a group of uh, similar fabrics and details, uh, just done in different ways, so that you'll recognize that they go together, but they are interesting. Now these suits right here aren't something you typically wouldn't see poolside or on the beach. No, there's something that you might see in a, in a futuristic movie. Um, they almost remind you of something from the uniforms of Star Trek, and it really is a, a, an interesting combination of silhouettes, some of those high-cut legs from the 80s. This next collection is designed by Taryn Miller. It's also vintage inspired. Uh, a lot of Taryn's designs are inspired by silhouettes of the 50s. Yes, I can see she uses a lot of high-waisted bottoms in her swimsuits and her lingerie. Vintage inspired designs are a huge trend right now and we're finding it uh, quite interesting that they carry over into the swimwear market. Now this really isn't swimwear that we're looking at here. Right, but this entire scene is really lingerie inspired swimwear. Oh, that's so innovative. We'll be right back. You are watching IADT's 25th annual Imagine Fashion Show. Music is your life. Take your passion to the next level. IADT can teach you the skills to engineer, record, and mix audio for CDs and video, or create sound effects for film and TV. You can do it, and the International Academy of Design and Technology can help you get there. For a career guide, call 800-620-9156. That's 800-620-9156. Call now. Bill, Bill. Artistic. Cool, it got here. What? Artistic, a student-created magazine. Artistic? Students created this? Yeah, it's by students learning graphic design, multimedia, and fashion. I want to make work like that. Then I think we should give them a call. If we can learn to make that, then we should definitely call. Right now. For your copy of Artistic, call 888-856-2111. 888-856-2111. What is fashion design? It's the world of your imagination come to life. Now you can learn fashion at the International Academy of Design and Technology. Learn the skills and become the one who can imagine it, design it, and create it. Make your imagination come to life by learning fashion. Start today by calling for this career guide. Call 888-316-9111. That's 888-316-9111. Up next, we'll find designers who embrace the relationship between daywear and streetwear in a scene we like to call synchronicity. The designer created these great graffiti prints. I was just about to say that. It looks like something that you would see graffiti artists do, the, that type of fabric. Also, I noticed that this collection has a lot of retro colors, very, very bold and bright colors, the pinks, the greens. designs seemed as if they were 80s inspired. Is this what synchronicity is all about? Uh, not necessarily. The scene is more about uh, street and day wear, but it seems as if that's a, a common trend that we have um, occurring in the show is that 80s right now is a big influence and has been actually uh, for several years.
pockets also seem to be a really huge trend right now. They are, especially in little dresses like that. And now we're seeing a lot of layering and ruffling, lots of detail. That combination of sheer fabrics and tiers and layering really does dress up the collection for day. Now these pieces right here seem to be a little more bold and eccentric. Is this still a day wear? It is. Perhaps something you would see more in LA, New York City, a more high fashion. To me it has an Asian influence, almost like origami in fabric. The next collection is from designer Itzel Martinez, and she uses a really creative combination of prints and textures in her designs. We'll be going behind the scenes to talk with Itzel Martinez about some of her designs. My name is Itzel Martinez. I am originally from Mexico. I've been here for about 12 years. Uh, I chose the Academy because it's a really nice school for fashion design. And I'm happy to graduate this year and move down to Miami. My collection this year was inspired by an everyday look, like something comfortable that you can wear either to work and after work. Uh, something sexy but not too provocative, something flirty but not too kiddish. But I was mainly inspired by the fabric and the prints. My choice of prints were mainly inspired by summer, something you can wear in the summer. The jewel thing, I actually chose it because it goes with the colors and I wanted something that, you know, it was sparkly, something that it gave it that evening look type of thing, you know, like you can like go from work to like say to a coffee place or a party, something that can be comfortable but at the same time sexy. And here's a really good example about what Itzel was talking about. This outfit does seem comfortable, yet it is sexy. Grab something to keep you cool because we're turning up the heat with swimwear fashions. Get ready to feel the sensation. Now this is a really unique style swimsuit. I think the Academy has great potential for swimwear design. Uh, we've got some really innovative cuts and shapes in some of these collections, and it's a great place in terms of uh, the Academy being a Florida school for swimwear. I can see what you mean by the different types of shapes in the swimsuits. Here we have a, con a contemporary suit paired with a more traditional suit. And going back to Misty Campoli, who we spoke with her earlier, this is the suit that was featured in her interview. All of the designers create any of the cover-ups you see with the suits. Now these one-piece suits, could you wear a cover-up with them? You could, any of the cover-ups could, could be worn with any of the designs. I love the different cuts and angles in all these different swimsuits. It's the fabric's very similar in all of them, yet they do something totally different. Beautiful neckline, very flattering. 
Now these patterns here seem as if they would be for a more younger audience. Uh, yes, the, the, um, some of what we discuss at the Academy has to do with markets and a lot of these students will go on to be designers for the junior market. So some of it is uh, younger in look and feel. And this one looks like for a more mature customer. I can see what you mean about the different markets. Wow, look at those earrings. Those purple feathered earrings almost look like they were made exactly for that suit. They actually were. In addition to all of these creative pieces that she's got in the collection, um, Katia is a, an accessories designer. She's got a line of feather earrings uh, that she sells on her website. And these swimsuits are all hand painted. Wow, that must take a different level of expertise to actually paint these designs on the swimsuits. Well, the designers are very creative people, so they have a combination of skills that translates into fabric and graphics and all sorts of things that surprise us. Very artistic. And next, we'll be hearing from Ejenea Jacob. I am from Trinidad, which is an island in the Caribbean, and I came to the academy to learn how to sew and to sketch and to be a fashion designer. I definitely want to thank my mother because if she wasn't there backing me 100% anyway, it wouldn't be possible. I'm inspired by animal print. I use a lot of animal print. I use a lot of like, um, not neutral, like neutral earth tones and stuff. And she could be going to, on vacation anywhere. She can wear this swimsuit anywhere. It can come down or it can go, or it can stay up. So, I mean, you don't really see that a lot in swimsuits. It's usually like just as skimpy or it's really covered up. And an X is in the back like this. So she can wear it, you know, if she wants to be more covered or not. So it's all gathered into this seam on both sides. And I thought that that was something interesting and the flap was also interesting as well because it can go up or it can stay down. This is actually jewelry that I got at Joanne's and um, I use it for an O-ring instead of the regular metal O-rings that people use. After graduation, I'm actually going to Miami to do my internship. I ideally want to start working in, in the film industry as a wardrobe designer. So you have to be very um, eclectic and you have to be very versatile when you're working in the film industry. Just like Ejenea said, her designs are very eclectic. This one right here is very flashy, it's very Hollywood. I love the jeweled pieces on these swimsuits right here. They're very flashy and they make the swimsuit really pop. Jeweled embellishments are really hot right now. There's more to come. You're watching IADT's 25th annual Imagine Fashion Show on TV32. A picture is worth a thousand words. At the International Academy of Design and Technology, you can take your passion for photography to the next level. Learn the technical skills in imaging, studio practices, and more. Creativity and a good eye are just the beginning. Learn the essentials of camera mechanics and photography and become part of this exciting field. Call now and find out how you can get started. For a career guide, call 888-860-2111. That's 888-860-2111. Call now. If you could turn this empty space into a modern kitchen, what kind of theme would you choose? Colors, cabinets, sustainable materials? Train in interior design and you could use your creativity to design beautiful spaces from scratch. Take your passion to the next level and call now for a career guide.
for a career guide, call 888-773-2111. That's 888-773-2111. Call now. Music is your life. Take your passion to the next level. IADT can teach you the skills to engineer, record, and mix audio for CDs and video, or create sound effects for film and TV. You can do it, and the International Academy of Design and Technology can help you get there. For a career guide, call 800-620-9156. That's 800-620-9156. Call now. Here comes something that's truly exciting. They're fun, flirty, and so much more. So go ahead, smile, because this next group of fashions will definitely cause exhilaration. These pieces right here are really colorful. This whole scene will be very colorful. This particular collection that starts out the scene um, is very reminiscent of the traditional garments of India. Now I love the floral prints on these types of pieces. This scene will include a lot of bright colors like this and beautiful floral prints, um, which are a huge part of resort wear. This piece right here is really fun, almost something you could wear out while you're on vacation. It's got a great hemline. Now this one right here seems very flirty, very sexy. I agree, it's got a, a very sexy halter neckline and the high slit at the side. Uh, it goes along with what Itzel said in her interview earlier about her designs being sexy. Embellished uh, detailing, specifically like that, where it creates three dimensions, is very hot in fashion now. These are some more great examples of resort wear from Marcella Pacheco. And Marcella was one of the designers we were able to meet behind the scenes at the pre-show fittings. I'm Marcela Zaida Pacheco Torrejon. I um, am here as a second uh, bachelor's degree seeking student, uh, non-traditional. I received my first bachelor's degree about 20 years ago in fashion design, and I was watching TV 32 one afternoon, and I saw that the fashion show was, was being broadcasted for this school, and it really inspired me. I was very surprised that there was fashion happening in Tampa area. It's typically in New York or LA, and I was inspired to come back to school, learn all of the computerized programs, which didn't exist the first time I went to school, to the university, and I should be getting my second bachelor's degree within a year. This collection is called Copacabana. It's inspired from Copacabana in Brazil. Um, what I did in this, um, in this outfit, this is all 100% silk chiffons, and um, this is a, a halter with a side tie and the neck. Um, it has a, a real soft, uh, flowy, crinkle type material, and every Everything uh, as far as um, the hems and, and what have you have a technique of a pearl edge uh, to really give it a nice flowy feel. Um, on this one also this is a 100% silk chiffon. This is actually imported from Italy and this is an ombre effect. So what I did is in, in creating the pattern pieces I wanted to make sure that the ombre changed in different, in different areas from the front and the back. If you wanted to turn around a little bit you can show that. 
So that technique is really showing off the ombre effect and making sure that it has a really interesting uh, look towards it. This was a collection designed during a class called Apparel Production One. Uh, she was given the task of being a designer for one of the local retailers, and she developed this collection from concept to finished product. Let's dial it back to let our fashions begin to become more refined, turning from a day of casual fun to an evening of extreme passion. So embrace the evolution. The designs in this scene will start to become a little bit more uh, refined, uh, some more expensive fabrics as we move along in the progression of the show. This is a great example of how uh, within the same collection you can appeal to two different customers. And to me these pieces look like something you would see in a rock and roll music video. They do. Um, this, although this scene now is becoming much more refined, uh, this particular collection does have uh, a real expensive rock and roll vibe. I love how that one skirt is flared. The contrast in these two colors really complement each other. The colors are great and the textures of the fabric, the leather, the zippers. but you'll need to change your outfit. These next tiles will be the adaptation that late night style will be looking for. This scene starts out with some beautiful designs for evening. Uh, this particular collection has got some very uh, striking features in terms of the uh, one-shouldered necklines as well as the fabric itself, which is animal print, but not in your traditional colors. It's in very striking shades of red and purple. Right, and I love these designs. And actually, the designer, Ala, who made this collection, also designed my dress to open the show. Chains and hardware, again, uh, a, a very big detail in evening.
Now these corset pieces are very cute. Uh, I agree, and they're, they're paired with pieces that are very flowy. Uh, the first design had a uh, draped neckline, draped side details on the skirt. It's a nice combination of, of shape and form. about how we're getting into more expensive fabrics. These fabrics here definitely look like they're more expensive, refined. Very sparkly. Great styling. Red, red uh, neckband and red pumps on the other model. Yes, the red really pops with the black and white stripes. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more brilliant designs and fashions from the students of IADT's 25th Annual Imagine Fashion Show. Bill, Bill. Artistic, mm. cool, it got here. What? Artistic, a student-created magazine. Artistic? Students created this? Yeah, it's by students learning graphic design, multimedia, and fashion. I want to make work like that. Then I think we should give them a call. If we can learn to make that, then we should definitely call. Right now. For your copy of Artistic, call 888-856-2111. 888-856-2111. What is fashion design? It's the world of your imagination come to life. Now you can learn fashion at the International Academy of Design and Technology. Learn the skills and become the one who can imagine it, design it, and create it. Make your imagination come to life by learning fashion. Start today by calling for this career guide. Call 888-316-9111. That's 888-316-9111. A picture is worth a thousand words. At the International Academy of Design and Technology, you can take your passion for photography to the next level. Learn the technical skills in imaging, studio practices, and more. Creativity and a good eye are just the beginning. Learn the essentials of camera mechanics and photography and become part of this exciting field. Call now and find out how you can get started. For a career guide, call 888-860-2111. That's 888-860-2111. Call now. Get ready to be spoiled. These next designs will do just that. But then again, you deserve it. Every now and then, everyone can use a little indulgence. We were so happy to get these designs from Jeremy right before the deadline uh, when he returned to Tampa from his study abroad experience uh, where he took some courses in England over the summer. Another example of some of the trends and colors from that, uh, from the Parisian lingerie inspired trend for spring 2011. Now these really have a costume feel, especially with the mask accessory. Uh, uh, we're back to Misty again, so you can see her influence. Um, we uh, went back and forth about top hats, masks, long gloves, and I think she did a perfect combination of uh, styling these to really give it a dramatic feel for this uh, last scene.
the next collection is from Mira Beneva, who continues the beauty and extravagance of this scene. She combines some tailored aspects, like you would see in business wear or career wear, with some sculpted shapes. Now these are some really beautiful, classy designs, and we got a chance to speak to Mira behind the scenes during the fittings. Let's see what she had to say. My name is Mira Bineva, and I came to the Academy because I always work in the um, field of the fashion. I'm from Bulgaria, and I came to this country nine years ago, and I wanted to continue in this country, so I chose IIDD to study for a career in fashion. Usually my inspirations come from buildings. I love architecture, especially unusual architecture. I can withdraw so many ideas from this. The inspiration for this dress was the building of Frank Gehry, Hotel Marquis de Riscal in Spain. I thought I can do a dress which is unusual and beautiful as this building. So I picked the colors from this building, I picked the shapes, and I made this couture dress. A lot of panels going on top of each other. Over here you're gonna see this river which looks like uh, one of the details of, on the building. I wanted to make it very feminine and uh, a very interesting with a uh, very muted color palette. After I graduate, I would like to work for a company which target market is more elegant and um, avant-garde. And here we see the Frank Gehry inspired dress. And Mira has had the opportunity prior to coming to the Academy to work for some European designers and it really does show in her work. This year, IADT partnered with My Hope Chest for a very important and worthy cause to raise money for breast cancer awareness. This next group of designs represents a truly unique and beautiful pink party dress collection. Let's celebrate this rejuvenation of style. The 10 pink dresses that follow in this scene are designs from the pink party which was a collaboration with the, between the Academy and Westfield Citrus Park uh, to raise awareness for uh, breast cancer and uh, benefit Moffitt. The dresses were actually named after 10 local breast cancer survivors. I think it's great that the school is involved in so many different charities. I understand that you were also involved in another charity, My Hope Chess? Uh, we were actually. Uh, for Imagine 2010, we partnered with a local charity uh, called My Hope Chess, which also raised funds for uh, breast cancer awareness, specifically for uninsured patients uh, for reconstructive surgery. My name is Elisa Savaretti and I am the founder and executive director of My Hope Chest. We're very grateful to have been chosen as the charity recipient for this wonderful fashion show. My Hope Chest is a nonprofit organization focusing solely on breast reconstruction for uninsured breast cancer survivors. We have a waiting list locally and nationally of uninsured women waiting for their breast reconstruction and we appreciate your continued support and awareness for reconstruction for the uninsured. For more information, you can visit our website at www.myhopechest.org. Thank you so much for having us and enjoy the show.
These dresses were the result of a competition uh, and 10 student and faculty designs were chosen, each individually made and designed uh, and then put together to create uh, the pink party. All these dresses vary, but it's great how to see how they come together to make this collection, and they also go towards a good cause. Each dress was raffled off, and after tonight's show, they will be given to the winner of the raffle for that particular dress. So how were the designers chosen to make up this collection? Well, they were asked to submit sketches of their design ideas, as well as fabric swatches, and then the 10 best designs were chosen. There were weeks and weeks of hard work, muslin test fits, discussions about shades of pink, embellishments, uh, mixing pink with other colors, Wow, sounds like a tough competition. Actually, it was a great experience. So the show was winding down, and during the show, the live audience was asked to text in their vote for favorite designer. Now let's see the results. Marcella with 1.5%. Misty with 3%. Benjamin, 7.4%. Ejenea, 9.2%. Mira, 12.3%. Ala with 24.3% of the votes. And the winner, Katia, with 43% of the total votes. Thank you for joining us for the 25th Silver Anniversary Academy Student Fashion Show. The International Academy of Design and Technology is committed to helping students turn passion into profession. And we hope you've enjoyed seeing some very talented students bring their concepts to life. On behalf of the International Academy of Design and Technology, I'm Jesse Pelletier. We appreciate your support.